Shown here graphically is a comparison of the three forms of non-invasive respiratory support, non-invasive ventilation, CPAP, and high-flow nasal cannula. And as you can see, with non-invasive ventilation, we apply an inspiratory pressure greater than the expiratory pressure, and in that way, we onload the patient's respiratory muscles and we improve the tidal volume that the patient receives. With CPAP, we apply to a face mask a pressure that is greater than atmospheric pressure, but there's no additional assistance of the patient's breathing during the inspiratory phase, so the patient's respiratory drive and respiratory muscles are responsible for delivering the entire tidal volume and minute ventilation. With high-flow nasal cannula, as we'll discuss in detail over the next minutes, uh, there is a small CPAP effect, uh, often not as great as we might achieve with uh, CPAP itself. Uh, there is also some onloading of the respiratory muscles, and in that way, some enhancement of the patient's uh, breathing and minute ventilation, and the physiologic basis for that we will also discuss over the next several minutes. So over the last years, over the last five years or so, there has been an increasing interest in the use of high-flow nasal cannula.